Yo, what's going on boys? Welcome back to the Ultimate RTG and today is that day. The wait is finally over. We get to pop open a Prime or Moments pack from Icon Swaps. Now, I want every single one of you to get in the comment section and predict what version is it? Prime or Moments? Because I did say a couple of days ago that I've just got a weird feeling that we're going to get a Moments card or it could just be my delusion trying to kid myself like leading me to believe that this grind is going to be worthwhile. Surely EA aren't going to screw us over. Lipman in Prime and Zaggy Prime? Oh, hell no. Give us something to really change the account because recently I can't complain. My pat luck has just been absolutely mental. Can we continue with this though? Can we ride our luck a little bit more? Come on. This is the best pack on FIFA 21. Let's hit big. And if you are enjoying the series, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm just going to show you some uh, Foot Champs highlights because I must admit, we haven't been playing at a good enough level to even get Elite 3. We're making it a lot harder for ourselves, but we did come up against this guy that was a king at counterattacks and long balls. The timing of the passes, he was running Casemiro. I mean, I must admit, he did switch into a five at the back halfway through the game. But needless to say, he was good though. He was just finding these killer through balls. He had DDA Drogba prime icon moments on the last man. Instant touches, class finishing. Now, I wouldn't mind that type of uh, finishing from my icon moments, but I just don't want prime moments Drogba. But he was good, all right? We found a way though. We clutched up very late on. 5-4, we were leaking far too many goals. And I don't know if it was just because I did start making some team changes. I really wanted to try Atel. And the mad thing is, right, because we had the Renato Sanchez SBC that was released, it caused Atel to go up. And I had bought him for 600,000. In the space of 10 minutes, no word of a lie, maybe 15, he went up to like 670,000. And I could have cashed out then, but I wanted to at least give him a go for five, six games and see what he was offering. So I had him being run as a left center mid in like two or three games and then as a left mid in the 4-4-2. And I've got to say that he seems like he's a bit wasted. He wants to be put as a striker, like five star, five star running through. So if you're in the market for an Atel that does feel like pretty decent on the ball, he's got a bit of pace and stuff, like it's not a bad card. So I have sold him though. I'm going to take the profit before I guess the market and just the hype in general is going to die down. Because locking in 600,000 on the player does make me um, a little bit worried considering that it is brand new. Whereas um, recently when we picked up Udegaard, he had already settled and we got him for a good price and I was really happy with that. But with all these foot birthdays, you never know what EA are going to release. And I think like 600k is a little bit expensive. Now, another car that we picked up, which was Gunter. And honestly, he ain't bad. He's, he's all right. He, he, did, he did feel in that left back position a, a decent enough level. But sometimes a bit clumsy. And that's what I get the vibe from, from the car. Just a little bit clumsy. But he is physical. He's got a mad amount of speed. Like if you flick the stick and you burst past your opponent you are going to be able to carry the ball from the left back to the left wing with ease. He does gather up a lot of uh, momentum. That penalty shootout, by the way, I made a mistake. Now, I thought as it was the game-winning penalty that we were about to take, Kimmich, no one told me he had 55 penalties on his team of the year card. I went for the OP chip that I had experienced against me last weekend. It was completely un unsavable. I couldn't save it. I tried it myself, and I missed. I hit the post. I was absolutely devastated, and we lost that game. And I haven't really been playing that well. Look at these mistakes, like passing it out the back, straight back to him. It's been absolutely mental. I don't know why. I just can't find the form. It's, it's everything. I can't pinpoint. Is it in the attack? Is it the midfield? It's just been really, really poor for me, honestly. So if we could get blessed by EA today, and let's have maybe an icon midfielder. Do you know what I really want? I know, I know, it's never gonna happen, but I just wanna experience like a truly overpowered broken card on the game, because I haven't had the luxury to do that this year. I would like to give a Patrick Vieira moments ago, a Rud Hullet obviously, and then the main man Ronaldinho. I just would love it. Like I. 
It's not going to happen. We're going to get disappointed, you know. H how many hours did we spend grinding for this, for this icon pack? God knows. But we got it in the end. Our record right now, though, in the weekend league is 15 and 5, which, <laughs> like, it, it's one of those where I already went in with the mindset of just getting the 15 wins because, like, obviously, I wanted this pack. So maybe that's been playing with how I've been performing. I don't know. But I've been trying, though. That's the worst thing about it. Like, I have been trying, and that is my genuine record. So next week, uh, we're just going to have to brush ourselves down and go again and try and pinpoint and figure out what the hell is uh, going on. But Palacio is still performing. Kimmich's still running well. And who else did we use? Um, I think we brought Dybala back, didn't we? Any other foot birthdays that I brought into the starting 11? I'm not sure, because I basically sold... Um, I sold all the cards that I wanted to test out on, and I made profit. So I know you guys are like, oh, buy and sell, but I'm making coins. Like, I just want to try and yeah, eventually be able to afford one of the best cards on the game. But hopefully you have enjoyed those highlights. Um, enough of me uh, chatting about a weekly run. You don't want to see that. What you want to see is the icon pack. Let's go and open it. If I see Brazilian Cam, I'm going to freeze up. That could be... Moments Ronaldinho, Moments Kaka, and Moments Pele, or is Moments Pele a striker? Always get that wrong. I don't know. But all I want to see is that Brazilian flag, and maybe French, and a little bit of Dutch. Just the Moments cards. Well, no, not just the Moments cards. There are still quite a few uh, poor ones. I don't know if I've done this right. In before, I haven't got enough. That would be absolutely heartbreaking. I have done the right one, yeah? Primal Moments pack? Yeah, I have. All right, next one. I'm going to have to fill this out again. Oh, no. Do I have enough? I'm pretty sure I do. Yo, I'm getting a little bit nervous. How many hours did we spend grinding for this? I don't know. A long time. And maybe like 24 hours? No, I don't know if it took me that long. Oh, it's time, though. Come on. Let's get something nice. I have opened up quite a few for other people, though, on SharePlay. The worst part about it is it doesn't seem worthwhile. Everyone that I know hasn't really got someone that I would genuinely be excited about. Okay, Moment Solar. All right, if I pant Moment Solar, obviously it's a good card and I would accept that. But is it the creme de la creme? Is it right on top? No, it's not. And I could afford a Moment Solar as well. So ideally, if it could give me someone that's worth five mil. Oh my God. Here it is, boys. The moment you guys have been waiting for. You probably already skipped the video and, and, and know what I, I'm going to get before I... No, how does that work? You already know what I've got before I know? Yeah, but I'm about to open it. Anyway, drop a like on today's video. Like I say, get in the comment section. Predict what we're going to get. Primal moments. I believe, I truly believe that we're going to get moments. All right? We're not counting down. We're going to fill this pack right now. Moments for Anadinho. Let's go. Come on. Moments, Dinio. I don't know what I'll do if I see Brazilian. Brazilian, Dutch or French? Brazilian, Dutch or French? Right in French is good. Center back. Center back. Uh, prime moments. That's like... It's moments. It's Blanc. It's Blanc. <laughs> it's Blanc. That's not bad. That's not bad. I kind of like that. I kind of like this. It, it, I told you it was going to be a moment. I had a feeling it was going to be a moment. 92 Laurent Blanc Primarca moments. I haven't used his moments. I used his middle version like quite a while back. I must admit. Um, is he going to be good though? I don't really see him run. Now, what I have noticed though, over the past couple of days, I've been facing Virgil van Dijk. And he seems to be a real pain to get past. Like, he was always good, but I just have noticed, yeah, last week and this week, he is really tough to just pass through. So, Laurent Blanc with a little bit more agility, a little bit more mobile with his pace, and then that defending. Like, his stats are stupid good, right? Surely. It's a moment's Blanc. Six foot four as well, so he's going to obviously provide that mad, mad height. 95 defense awareness, 86 strength. 89 aggression, reactions, composure. We're going to have to give him a go. We could sell Zambrotta on then. Zambrotta and Lars Bender together. Why not? Why not? We're, we're going to have to try him. 
I know the whole meta is playing right back to center back right now, but maybe Laurent Blanc will help us. You never know. You, you're not going to know until you try it. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Would I have bought Laurent Blanc off the market? Probably not. I must admit, I'm being honest. I, I probably wouldn't have bought him right now. But 78 acceleration is fine. Sprint speed is nice. He's got really... He's got everything. He used to be one of my favorite defenders last year and, and the year before. You could always trust Laurent Blanc. And now we get the pleasure to try his moments. He's going to be good. He has to be good. And with him being French, does that help with any players that we've got right now in the club? We could bring in Auer then. We, we, we could go and purchase Auer. Uh, Auer gets a strong link into De Silio as well. So then that would give me like the perfect link over here. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to do with, um, with the starting 11. Zambro do we get rid of Zambrotta or do we get rid of Bender? Oh, no, Bender's better. I think Bender is better, honestly. So we have Blanc, Bender, Decilio, and then Regulon. Or we could even uh, change that out and go and buy Foot Birthday uh, Mendy for the meta. I don't know. But I am interested in that. So tomorrow you're going to see whether or not Laurent Blanc is the real deal. He might be terrible. He might be really poor for me, but I doubt it. So you never know. We might have unleashed and unlocked a beast. So was the grind worthwhile? It's to be decided. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Team out. Peace.